welcome to this video. We're looking at a book today called The Art Journey of Lord Griss. And here it is. It's a splendid looking, colourful hardcover book. It's just slightly larger than a square size. Um, it's got the title there on the spine, clearly written. This book came out in 2022. I like this bit on the back. Bravery is an important aspect of making art, doing things you're scared of and taking a leap of faith. It's true because if you keep playing it safe and drawing the things you know you can draw quite well all the time, you're never going to grow and expand your repertoire, are you? So anyway, rant over there. This is published by 3D Total. They've sent me this book uh, as a review copy. Uh, I'm giving my honest opinion on it in this video. No money has changed hands and they've not told me what to say. So I'm basically going to just tell you what I think. First of all, let's have a look inside. Ooh, look, we've got Gris or Gris. I'm not sure here pronounce the artist's name. We've got their signature there on the left next to an attractive frog. And here there's a free little print. This is really nice. It's a kind of an angel girl made out of stone. It's really nice. And you can frame that, I guess. Lovely little extra. So what have we got inside? Here's the contents. So this book comprises a foreword. It's got an introduction. Then there's an art journey section. My favorite bit next, into the studio. Then we've got a gallery of her artwork. We've got a section on character design. And then a very useful bit about turning your art into a career. Some good practical advice in that section. Uh, and at the end, there's a sort of a thank you section too. There's a short forward here by painter and artist Matt Linares. And then we've got the actual introduction by the artist herself. And it's interesting, she is a she. When I first heard the name Lord Gris, Lord Gris, whichever, I kind of thought, oh, it must be a guy. But it's not. She's American. There's a section here about the early days of her art education. And there's lots of examples of some of the early work she'd produced as well, which is really interesting to look at. She talks about spending her lunch times in the art room, um, and I'm sure that was time well spent. She talks about how here she stopped making art for about four years, and then she got back into it when her brother bought her like a Samsung tablet that could run apps on. She started getting interested in digital art. Here she talks about the progress since then, um, basically building a social media following, doing artwork for a video game and so on. I love the photos that are included on these next pages. She's talking about growing up in Oregon uh, and how kind of she was inspired by the natural world, going out and exploring and seeing things. She talks about how she spent much of her time just wandering around, admiring the strange beauty of the place. Now there's a section about finding your style and then also getting motivated. A lot of these kind of books seem to include this, but it's important, isn't it? You need to feel like you've got your own style. And you need to be able to keep making art and not just come to a standstill. How do you keep motivating yourself? She's got some really useful tips about getting started here, as well as, you know, not fearing the blank white page. There's a really interesting bit here where she talks about the right mindset, getting into the right mindset. And she often likes to remind herself how the future me will be grateful for the current one that took the time to do the work. And I, I found that amusing. She's also got some advice here about... Basically not being too precious, be messy, don't be afraid to make mistakes and ruin pages. I like this page here about redraws. It says this is what she started doing originally, taking an old piece of art that she did originally and then redrawing it, breathing new life into it. You can see that a lot of her art is, a, is women um, with amazing kind of like hair that often strange colors lots of like glowing going on she does a lot of angel wings and horns i really like this kind of style that she's gone for here's some amazing pictures of her studio play home studio she describes it as her home office because she obviously spends a lot of time in there answering emails designing websites etc i love these pages as well with all her artwork now she talks over the next few pages about the tool. She's using Procreate. She's sketching. She uses different uh, media, including mixed media. I use those Copic pens. Love those Copic pens. She talks about her traditional painting setup and then how traditional meets digital. And I like the word uh, that she uses here, uh, working tradigitally. And this section serves as a tutorial where she talks through how she developed this piece. 
um, which is called Lily. I think she did this in 2020. I really like these pages. It's broken down step by step and you can see the artwork evolving. It's a beautiful piece of art. I love the colours. I love the way she does hair on all of these characters. I love the colour palettes that she chooses as well. There's always high contrast, very bold colours. I just really like the style and I'll always be seeking out any new artwork by this artist. Um, the book is a pleasure to look through. Here's another section, look here, where she's developing another angel character into a lot of depth about how she does the hair and how she tackles the clothes uh, and, and blends it all. Those beautiful wings. Amazing. I love that piece. The next few pages, she talks about Inktober, which is obviously, for those that know, it's a social media challenge during October where artists basically co uh, create new work every day uh, during that month. And I really like some of these. Some of these are slightly creepy, a bit different, those, actually. Now, this is the gallery section. Uh, this is pure artwork, uh, and there's some really nice pieces in here, as you can see. Just looking through this book makes me want to go and create art, so that's got to be a good thing, right? It's highly inspirational. Um... I, I just It just makes me want to fire up like Photoshop or Procreate and start designing something. I really like character designs too. Uh, and she's <laughs> this burger character. If I have to have a criticism of this book and it's a minor thing, it's pages like this. That you can't read the writing. That says character design. But you, I think they've been too faint with that. Um, but that's such a minor thing. I love this book. It's very hard to find anything that I dislike about it, to be honest. This whole section is an absolute joy because she talks through how she creates the hair in lots of depth. And you can see this particular piece developing over several pages. She also goes into more depth here about how she achieves those amazing wings on some of her characters. And here she's talking about how she gives a, I guess that glowing effect that she gets on a lot of, sort of uh, the hair, the skin, and obviously the backgrounds on her pieces. Look at those colors. In this next section, she talks about how she often uses a cracked stone effect in her art. And she talks about how she achieves that and uses an example of this kind of cracked stone um, angel, the same one that we get the print of inside the front of the book. Here's more character designs. She's talking more about here, like the body shapes and the poses. Inking, um, how to select colors, um, silhouettes stuff like this once again there's the finished piece on the right doesn't that look fab this last section is about how to turn your art into a career she talks about how she's done that and the different avenues that exist for you to make money from art uh, and, and her experiences trying to do this to date we end this book with a thank you message there one last piece of art it's a fantastic book i love it there's a few more adverts here for other books uh, by the, the publisher 3D Total. Um, I, I'm going to cherish this one. This is going to stay firmly on my bookshelf and keep coming out whenever I need some sort of character inspiration. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did. I enjoyed looking through it. Um, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.